It is time to show you some of this morning's headlines. The Wall Street Journal looks at how Target missed a chance to improve credit card safety. In 2004, the retail giant pulled the plug on cards using chip-based technology. Among the concerns, slower checkout lines. Target is reeling from the massive data breach involving up to 110 million shoppers. USA Today looks at a report on income disparity. The British charity Oxfam finds almost half the world's wealth is owned by just 1% of the planet's population. And the poorer half of the world's people have about the same amount of money as the richest 85 people on Earth. CBS Chicago says 6,000 church sex abuse documents will be released today. They're part of an agreement with the Archdiocese. Attorneys for victims of 30 Chicago priests say the documents show a conscious effort to protect the church. The Archdiocese says it was a mistake, not a cover-up. The Los Angeles Times looks at air pollution from China reaching the U.S. This is a story we've been telling you about. A report finds dirty emissions from China's export industry make it across the Pacific Ocean in just six days. In 2006, Los Angeles and parts of the eastern U.S. had at least one extra day of smog that exceeded federal health standards. About one-fifth of the smog that China spews in the air comes from producing goods for the U.S. and other countries. And the Denver Post says the NFL is considering a proposal to eliminate extra points. Commissioner Roger Goodell says the extra point is almost automatic. Under the proposal, a team would get seven points for a touchdown unless it wanted to try for an eighth. And if a team went for the eighth point and failed, it would only get six points for the score.